Hi guys, I know it's been such a long time since I've made a video, but that's just because school's been so crazy. And now it's finally done, so I thought I would take you guys around with me today at the barn. And I'm just going to lunch Hartley today. Hi dude! Come here! He's super, super fuzzy. And I think he's a lot bigger. Since you guys saw him. Hi dude! Say hi! How do I do this with one hand? Let's figure this out. So I guess, hey, I guess update, um, I haven't really ridden Harley much since the October show. I mean, I've gotten on in bareback a couple of times and like just walked around and stuff, but I haven't properly schooled him. And that's just because I've been so busy and hey, See, he's still pretty bitey, um, but I also haven't been riding him because his teeth just keep falling out, like left and right. So the bit is an issue. And stop. And um, I mean, I would try a Bozal on him, but I don't know. We'll see. He's gotten pretty big, so let's measure him. And um, I know a lot of my comments are, how do I keep Harley so white? Well, in the summer, I could hose him down every day, but now that I can't, he looks like this. So yeah, he's not white anymore. So obviously this is not the most accurate, but he's at 60 inches at his withers. So he's officially 15 hands. and fuzzy and disgusting. I managed to wash his tail two days ago. Um, I haven't been keeping it up because I feel like it just breaks every time I have it up. And I did manage to wash his mane. Harley. And he has a little cut on him, so he has some bag bomb on that. But today we're just gonna lunge and I think I'm gonna bring the poles out and use those. So since it's cold outside, I've only been polar wrapping him because all of my neoprene stuff is frozen. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but now I can only use bell boots on him that have the fleece. Cause he's so sensitive that all neoprene cuts him right there. Well, the, the neoprene bell boots cut him, not the sport boots or split boots. So I'm like out of breath from getting up and down and from wrapping him. Harley. And I'm not even gonna bother brushing him because he's, I'm gonna turn him out before I lunch and he's just gonna roll, so I'll just brush him after. And obviously I brushed his legs where the polar wraps go. Here you go. Out. Go. Run free. You're so boring. Come on.
I also feel like I should address comments. The longer I have these videos up, I feel like the more ignorant the comments get and like repetitive also. So I don't know how many times people are going to ask what's on Harley's tail when there's like five other comments in the same video. But if there's on if there's something on Harley's tail, it's a tail bag and it's used to okay. <laughs> and it's used to protect his tail when it's braided up. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, he got out two days ago and I worked him really good, so. And it's this cold air, it just gets him, <laughs> it gets him like this. But um, yeah, it's a tail bag. Um, a lot of people ask where I get these green polos. I got them off of Facebook. <laughs> and then when people tell me what to do with Harley um, like on my first couple of videos like my first week of breaking Harley Harley oh my gosh like my first week of breaking Harley or um, like the first couple of weeks of me riding him and they tell me what to do um, like we were just so far past that point. He's been broke now for about four months. So I'm sorry, all of those comments are irrelevant to now, like it's too late if I even were to take your advice. And I have a trainer, so I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm gonna listen to my trainer. Hey. But yeah. I appreciate all the nice comments, and I do appreciate the feedback, but um, I just don't know if people realize that I posted these videos like three months ago, <laughs> three, four months ago. This is not Harley in summer. Harley in summer doesn't even lunge. This is Harley in winter where he is like in the cold air. <laughs> Better not knock this over, get out.
old and you're all filthy.